Hello, I'm Greg Grex, a PGA teaching professional and instructor at Wildwood well Green Golf Club in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of my young students that has started with me a year ago. As a matter of fact, he started on January the 12th of 2014. And we recently just videotaped his swing January 31st of 2015. So I feel very honored that I've had the opportunity to work with him for just a little over a year now and I feel that we've made a very amazing progress with his golf swing. And you're gonna see here in this video that you're looking at on the uh, left side of the screen is his very first golf swing that I videotaped with him and his original tendencies because uh, basically he stood up and came out of the golf shop considerably his ability kinda of caused him to aim out to the right and we fixed a lot of that by uh, getting him aim a little bit prop more correctly, in other words, straighter on down the target line. And that was uh, one of the key things, again, with this setup. You can see both setup positions are, are very, very athletic. We have a little bit of knee flex, uh, good spine angle from the address position, and he's, he's very, very stable and set on his feet to start to swing, really in both videos, but again, making sure that he's aiming properly was one of the key ingredients to helping him fix some of the swing issues. Now, here we go. We're going to go ahead and let's take a look at the very first swing. And the biggest thing that I really wanted to focus on with him was posture. And he made a pretty good turn going to the top of his swing. And he overswung it quite a bit. There was some swing and a little bit of a reverse pivot at the top, which caused the swing to look very long at the top. Now, if you look at the corrections that we've made, we basically kept him more flexed in the golf swing. In other words, you can see the knee staying a little bit more flexed and a little bit more consistent as he swings to the top. And because he doesn't have that sway and reverse pivot, it doesn't enable the golf swing to appear like it's swinging quite so long. Now, that does several different things in my opinion. One, it, it gives him the ability to coil up more effectively and maintain spine angle posture to the top and two it doesn't allow you to lose control over the top of the swings quite so much so therefore you can control the transition move so in many instances the having a good setup and a, a back swing that allows the body to stay in good form and technique going up also can transpire significantly into what's going to happen in the downswing and we all realize that impact is critically important but what you do to set the stage in the backswing determines a lot of what's going to happen in the chain reaction to the downswing now let's go ahead and just lower this just a little bit more and, and here's what I want to show many of you out there the, the importance of what we've done with his swing whereas in the past as he transitioned coming down you can see that the lower body really moved forward and it started to literally move directly towards the ball so now in this position he's basically in a stuck position what you'll sometimes hear because the body is so much in the way that at some point he's gonna have to prematurely or early release that hinge that he's actually created if we go ahead and move the year later swing down a little bit more you can see how much better he's maintained his posture into this transition move into the downswing. Now if I put the hands at about waist high, again you can see that basically the posture's lost and again he's going to have to make a lot of adjustments and corrections or compensations as you'll sometimes hear to what he's going to have to do with his hands to get around his body. Now the other thing is in the beginning of this video he was aimed out to the right and he was hitting a lot of pulls and had to pull the ball back on it on the target line whereas now we don't have to do that anymore we can aim straighter clear more effectively with the hips without losing body posture and right away we're gonna get much better compression on the golf ball and a much straighter ball flight with very little compensation so things can just work a lot cleaner through the impact position so when you take let's lower this into impact here an impact position that was basically standing straight up and out of posture as opposed to now having much clearer and constant rotation the body being more in sequence you can see that it 
looks at the impact position like he's not hardly standing up at all. Another term that you'll hear um, in rapid tip that you hear around the country clubs are, you know, you're picking your head up and keep your head down. Well, ultimately you can see in the, in the video that we took a year ago that he's lifting his head up basically because the body's standing so tall and it hasn't had any rotation at all. Whereas a year later, if we maintain that posture and we start to effectively clear the hips out of the way, it's going to look like the head hasn't really lifted up and out of the golf swing as much. Now, again, he has that a little bit, but because we don't have it quite so much, the, the ball striking is so much better. He's able to get a little bit more distance on the golf ball because he's not fighting the impact position so much. And again, the posture is a main ingredient to getting more success with so many players out there. And if we can't maintain good, consistent body posture when we swing up to the top and the swinging down into the impact, how can we be so certain that you're going to hit the ball well without compensating so much? And these are the, the ultimate things that I think any good instructor can look at, you know, is body posture, how the big muscles move throughout the swing. And if the big muscles move very well, then ideally your arms and your hands don't have to make so many compensations. Sometimes I feel like, too, if we can keep the arms and the hands out of it and let them do their job with good body posture, you'll naturally release the club at a better position and strike more solid golf shots at impact. Now, one of the other things that I, I think that we can do is um, let's go ahead and, since you really see what we're talking about, but we move, what I'd like to do is, is just show what we want to do a little bit too. This is Sergio Garcia over here on, on the right hand video. And, you know, what I want to kind of show everybody is that with you know, really, really good players, you can see the rotation and stability with the very fine body posture into the impact position. And, and this is really what I wanted to try to work on more with this particular student. Now you can see as we lower, he still has a tendency to start to rise up a little bit, but definitely not as bad as what we had in the first golf swing. We have a lot more consistency and you can see now if we can continue to maintain this body posture, get a little bit more hip rotation and he'll quit looking like it's rising up a little bit there from uh, the impact. So, and again, I think you can see a lot of similarities now really with how the muscles and, and the body has a tendency to work with both players and Garcia just being more consistent. And again, that to me is the reason why, you know, he's playing on tour. He's able to stay in that golf swing and look like the head is really staying constant in position. It's not moving up or down. It's just really working through. So again, you can see him staying stable there and then just a little rise as he starts to come back up. But again, we get much better rotation. You can see here, even with Garcia, we'll let this come through a little bit more where the, the body posture was maintained just a little bit longer and you don't see as much lifting. And we can draw. So when I say lifting again, what you're going to notice is just the spine angle or the body coming up a little bit, whereas we're seeing the spine angle with Sergio Garcia staying over the ball just a little bit longer. All right, there you have it. Uh, contact me anytime through my website at grexagolf.com. I'd be happy to talk with anybody about the golf swing. Uh, it's uh, definitely something that I really love to do, and I put a lot of effort into doing the best I can at giving the, you know, I like to say, you know, try not to be too gray about the instruction, but, but really just be black and white and try to tackle some of the things that are going to help you be a better ball striker and hit the ball as solid as you possibly can and keep it as straight as you can. So again, anytime you know you feel like you you need some help here in the Raleigh Durham area, please contact me through my website at grexagolf.com or email me at greg at grexagolf.com and I'd be happy to help out. Thank you for watching my video.